And we're back. Just had a little drama with the puppy. Now she's resting peacefully. <laughs> I'm back. We're uh, ready for another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. My name is Mark Zimmerman. I just rolled a sheet, little layer of ink out on a sheet of plexiglass. I'm going to do an ink transfer drawing by putting paper over that ink, taping it down, and then drawing and rubbing on the back of that paper. And that will um, transfer the ink to the front, which is face down right now. And then we end up with an ink transfer drawing. The first thing I'm going to do is figure out where that ink is. It's inside a little rectangle of tape. And I'm just going to run this pen along the edge of that tape. And that lets me know where my ink is at. All right. So, uh, hmm. I'm going to do a kind of a crazy little drawing. Um, it's kind of a cartoon ostrich. There's his goofy smile. Put a little texture in here. Everything I do on the back of this paper transfers ink to the front. There we go. And now, uh huh. I want that even darker right along that edge. Sometimes ink transfer drawing kind of ends up looking like it's really just an excuse to scribble. See? Even just varying the pressure of the pen transfers very differing amounts of ink. If I press hard, I get more ink, of course, and press kind of lightly, I get less ink. Let's let's give him an eyeball here, huh? What do we want to do with butt right here? Kind of a fun drawing. It's all goofy. Kind of like goofy. See, it is just an excuse to scribble. It 
And with as much transfer as I'm doing, I'm going to need to do very little with color. At the end, I will come back with some watercolor paint. That's going to be really, really dark. Uh, huh. Well, he gets a little... A little nostril. And another little nostril. And then, for some weird reason, well, maybe I should do this first. For some weird reason, this, um, this eye is much bigger. Welcome to the world of cartoons, where anything can happen, right? All righty. Oh, let's come back to the eye. I kind of want to do his neck next because neck is pretty cool. Ostrich neck, huh? There we go. That's kind of fun. If you like to scribble. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm out in the Black Hills and it's the Sturgis Bike Rally Week. And uh, so I can hear a rumble out there, a little bit of a roar.
So this is the dark side of his face. So we get quite a bit of quite a bit of transfer here. I don't feel much like doing much with my finger. I can take my finger and rub on the back of this too. And uh, actually, I think I'll maybe just take my hand, the palm of my heel of my hand, and put a little, little tone in each corner. Maybe a little tone right here. Uh, a little tone right here. I think I got the rest of it. Let's take a peek, see what we got. See how... <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll work. Goofy is all get out. But... That's kind of fun. So I'm going to get the ink out of here and put a little watercolor on top of that. You'll notice it came out backwards, right? That's kind of part of the ink transfer process. It switches itself. Um, all right. Let's get a big old brush. Let's get a board under here. And rinse that brush a little bit. Um, we're just going to put in a nice light little coat of brown here. take some of that out. <laughs> Put it down and take it away, huh? So I'm gonna and then I'm gonna come back and add a little shadow to this too. So a little purple shadow. Be nice if I could stay in the lines, huh? So little bitty purple shadows. Kind of light purple. I have most of the what artists would call the value structure, the arrangement of the darks and lights, the value structure. I have most of that already solved with the um, with the ink transfer. I did most of my did most of the heavy lifting there, so I don't have a whole lot to to do here. So let's give that eyeball a shadow. Give this one ever so slightly a bit of a shadow. Just get rid of that cream color. I'm going to have to come back and uh, make the eyes brown I think but for now I'm going to kind of play with a couple different colors and 
tip this paper so it rolls, runs, so the paint runs the direction I want it to run. So I can tip this paper. Oh, a little nasty on my brush. There we go. I want to use some of that purple in the background too. And some of the blue. And some of the purple. Some of the blue. More of the blue. More of the purple. A little more blue. A little purple. Whoa, that's a lot of purple. Add a little water. <laughs> Rinse it out. <laughs> a little more blue. A little more blue. Sorry, it's easier if I can tip tip it this way now. Keep hitting the bottom of the blue and then or the purple and then I get way too much paint. I think I kind of want to just just a hint of orange in here too. And I'm going to come back with a little bit smaller brush. And some of that brown I had. And darken these eyes just a touch. So he's not a zombie ostrich. Uh oh. Bleeding into the blue. Don't really want that. Maybe I even dance in a little bit of yellow here. Okay, 
probably not going to get better if I keep messing with it, huh? Uh, get the board out of here. Um, sign them with a pencil. Got a mechanical pencil. We'll just call it ostrich. Sign it. And date it 2020. There's our little ostrich. Hope you had fun watching. I had fun making them. Bye for now.